hello there, and welcome back to episode 15 of Realism Craft. Now, this episode is going to be something. I'll let you in on a secret. We're going to be preparing for the end. <laughs> but you probably already knew that. But to start out with, how about a little bit of fan appreciation? Does this make you dizzy? Because <laughs> it kind of makes me dizzy a little bit. So I'm standing here in front of the fire tornado. That's right, Cat Yosh said it looked like a fire tornado, and I tend to agree. When we get a bunch of these little blaze guys all situated, uh, it's definitely like that. And if you get too close, well, you get a little burned. Now, in my Minecraft career, this will be my third attempt at the Ender Dragon on a solo mission. I beat it once with friends and then uh, twice by myself, so yeah. Hopefully this one goes well. <laughs> I am ill-prepared like last time, but we'll see what happens. And to echo Cat Yosh and Soup King's excitement about it, let's go. That's right, because the end time is near. And really, I want to thank each and every one of you for supporting the last video. At this point, it has 90 views, and I am super excited about it. And if you didn't know, commenting on the video allows me to interact with you and to share those thoughts. So I really appreciate that if you do. And I'll give you a shout out in the video if you do as well. One of the biggest things about preparing for the end is getting the blaze rods so that you can get the eyes of Ender. And of course, a little bit of levels never hurt. <laughs> Um, so I ended up getting quite a few blaze rods here. Um, did some piglin trading. They'll probably be mad at me now that I opened up a barrel, but we'll go up and we'll say hi for a minute. Hello, fellas. Don't hurt me. You're not going to hurt me, right? But these guys, I uh, traded about eight blocks of gold with them and got quite a few things. So this is what I got here. I ended up getting some gravel, some blackstone, just some little goodies like soul speed, for example. Uh, tiny bit of iron. But the main goal of that whole situation was to get eyes of ender. So I ended up getting, I believe, 10 ender pearls. And I switched them over to the eyes of ender, got an ender chest. So we're somewhat prepared for the end. Uh, we just have to find it. And of course, uh, finding the end is not really an easy task. Um, after you traverse through the nether, get your eyes of Ender, you gotta head back to the overworld, so that's where we're heading now. But check this out! Oh, boo 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 boo! <laughs> hey, yeah, we probably shouldn't dash in third person because, uh, that, that looks a little bit trippy, so... Yep, we're gonna go up, and about... I look kinda like... what's that guy called? Little green stretch guy? I don't know. Gumby, I think it was. <laughs> anyway, let's head back to the overworld and we can get started! Alright, so first things first, how an Eye of Ender works, if you've never used one before, is you look up in the sky and you just activate it, and the Eye of Ender should fly in the direction of the Stronghold. There's always a chance that it can break, so you have to be careful and it's always good to have more than one. I have nine. <laughs> the rest are in my Ender chest in case I end up dying along the way and I can find my way back. But the main idea is that you just want to follow the direction of the Eye of Ender and hopefully you can get to that stronghold. Strongholds are usually buried. Um, why do you have an ink sack? That's odd. <laughs> They're usually buried underneath villages and stuff, but they could be elsewhere. I'm pretty far away, I think, from my starting location in the world, so you never know where you might come up at. But the idea is that you just want to travel in a particular direction and at least until you find a village or you've traveled a few hundred blocks and then throw the pearl again just to see where it lands. So let's see what we can come up against. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to probably cross ocean just to get to it, uh, which is okay by me. Um, that's also the reason why I brought the boat, which is in my ender chest. So let me grab that now. There we are take our ender chest back. We don't want to forget that. <laughs> and we'll just keep going in this direction and hopefully we can run across a village sooner or later. Um, this also gives us a good opportunity to really get an outlay of the world and see what's in here. Okay, so now that we're on land again, I do want to chuck the ender pearl or the eye of ender one more time just to make sure that it wasn't somewhere in the ocean, you know? Because you never know. So we need to go this way. Perfect. You know what? How about a time lapse for this part? 
row, row, row your boat gently across the sea. Walk your world here and there, find the ender tree. <laughs> okay, that, that was a little weird, but yeah, the real time ducks. Hey, looky what I found. I found a pirate ship. Oh, man. Oh, man, I, I want to see what what's on this thing here. I mean, obviously, there's pillagers. Huh. This is cool. Is it abandoned? Anybody in the crow's nest up there? I don't see anything. Nobody's tried to shoot at me yet. Oh, there is a captain up there. Run, run. Hey, what is that guy? He's a little lifeboat raft. Alright, so honestly, there's not much here. <laughs> Aside from the big ship that looks pretty cool in the background, no, nope. the chests are just filled with rotten flesh and uh, sugar and a beetroot, but probably the most valuable thing here are the sea pickles. And that villager with the llama that just went in fire. Okay, that well, that was awkward, so I'm going to grab the sea pickles and we'll continue. Alright, so land is coming into render distance. This is pretty nice. I like tigers. Let's see what's up here. Ah, it's a ruin structure. That's cool. Is that bear going to attack me? So I thought, don't attack me, bear. Alright, well, this is a better place than nothing to actually toss our pearl and see where it goes. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Uh oh, it went into the tree. So maybe we'll come across the village or the stronghold this way. Oh. Or more ocean. <laughs> okay then. Round two. What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? Early in the morning. Put him in a room with an enderman. Put him in a room with an enderman. Put him in a room with an enderman and hope he's still there. Maybe. <laughs> hey, that's my second rune portal I saw on the way over here. Must be a lot of those things. Oh, is that another raft? Oh, it's another boat. Am I going the wrong way? Is that the same boat that I was just at? I'm pretty sure it is. Huh. Did I throw the ender pearl in the wrong direction? That's odd. Okay, this is kind of silly, but I'm going to throw it again just to see where it goes. Where is it? It went somewhere. Oh, there it went. It went bye-bye. Okay, so I'm thinking... Oh, that dolphin just jumped into my boat. <laughs> so I guess we're going to go this way, because this is the direction that it pointed to. I'm wondering if it's in the middle of the ocean or something, because I went past here and I didn't see a single thing. So that would not surprise me, but who knows. Alright, well, I think this is as good a spot as any to throw the pearl, and if it goes back that direction, it's in the middle of the ocean somewhere, so I hope it doesn't. Oh no, it is. Oh, and that was my pearl. Okay, well, I have no idea what to do because I've never had a stronghold generate in the middle of the ocean, and uh, with realism craft, I can't locate structures. <laughs> For example, let me show you here. So if I go to locate structure, and then I type in Minecraft, oops, there we go, Minecraft, stronghold. I should get no message of where this is at. Yeah, so nothing popped up on the screen. Nothing in chat. And if I do just stronghold. I don't think this will work either. Yeah, nothing. So, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Let me see what I can find, okay? Okay, so currently I am in the middle of the stronghold. I lost some footage, but I'm just treating this like the nether fortress, and we're going to slowly make our way through. Um, I haven't gone through any of the doors that are closed. 
That way I don't get lost because I need to kind of keep track of where I'm going down here. Because strongholds, they're not the safest place. And they can get especially dark at times. I heard an Enderman somewhere. Okay, so at any rate... Yeah, let's go down here just to kind of see what's down here. Well... Oh, hello, Skelly. You scared me. Why'd you get so close? That's personal. Okay. Uh, yeah. Down the hole. So bad. Oh, jeez, man. Woo. Oh my goodness. Oh, he came out of nowhere and scared the daylights out of me. I need to breathe. <laughs> well, if there was ever a time that I needed a change of armor, that was it. That was so scary because, oh man, I just hope I find that portal. I want to get out of here so bad. For whatever reason, strongholds scare me more than another fortress, so, uh, yeah, let's creep on, I guess. Oh, is that it? Oh, that must be it. Okay, let's light this up. Ooh, that is it. Okay, we're gonna seal this off. Ooh, that scared me. I thought it was a creeper somewhere. I'm gonna block that in. What? What's it talking to me? Oh, silverfish. Oh, I forgot that they spawn down here. In the spawner. Okay. Let's just go ahead and disable the spawner, I guess. Get out of here. Okay. Now, the moment of truth here. Let's see uh, how many eyes we're missing. <laughs> Probably quite a bit. I can't... Well, that might be similar to a blaze spawner, but... Should I... Yeah, I broke it. <laughs> I broke it. There is no should I anymore. <laughs> oh... Oh, no! Seriously? One eye? Oh... Well, guys, as you can see behind me, we found the, uh... The end portal. <laughs> with exactly one eye in it oh man i only have four eyes which i do wear glasses in real life so yes that that is correct <laughs> but uh yeah so i'm thinking what i have to do is i need a little bit more preparation but we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here i'll get my uh, nether portal all set up next episode of course is going to be the dragon fight so uh yeah, be prepared because uh, I got a little more preparation to do myself, but I hope that you enjoyed the episode of me scrambling through the stronghold, trying to find it, and being lost in sea. So thank you so much for watching, and I'm looking forward to the next episode with you, and we'll beat that dragon together, okay? For now, have a great night, have a great day, and I will see you in the next episode of Realism Craft. Uh...